ladies and good morning and welcome on this glorious day to another Sunday Styling. Today Sunday Styling is called Vogue June 2020 Get the Look and today's um, Sunday Styling is a bit of fun, slightly tongue in cheek for those of us who have champagne tastes but a forced to live on a lager lifestyle. So at Artichoke we're always talking about the fact that we put together each season an edited collection that keeps you on trend without making you look ridiculous. Um, and today is actually me laying down a challenge to myself to show you how we do this. Before we start, however, I've just got to go through my list of things to do. This is slightly less off the cuff than usual. Um, ladies, as I'm sure you know, Artichoke in Swatham opens its doors to the general public again tomorrow. Fingers crossed it's going to be a very, very busy few weeks for us, but we're not going to stop our online um, videos and engagement. Uh, this is what has kept uh, me sane during the past three months, thanks to you. Um, so we've got no intention of stopping it. Sunday Styling will still remain on a Sunday at 10 o'clock until Paddy is given permission to go walk about or he starts his job in um, September. So don't tune into the Archers next Sunday, we're still here. As always, please say hello to each other, comment, um, if you want to ask a question, please ask it. And um, if Paddy misses it um, and can't shout it out to me, I will come back to you at the end. Um, as always, I go through the video at the end of the Sunday Starling and I'll come back to everybody who's asked a question. Um, now, in this edition, we are talking, because nobody copies anything these days, we're all influenced. So we're talking about Vogue influencing what we're wearing this season, putting together our styling videos and the Dress Me videos. I am heavily influenced by lots of other people who are doing similar things on Facebook and on Instagram. And I've noticed, ladies, that um, I have committed a serious breach of etiquette in that we don't have competitions on ours or free giveaways. So I'm going to rectify that this week. This week we are going to have a free giveaway. I'm going to give away a £10 voucher or an online coupon code. And in order to be in a chance with winning this, you need to like this video, share it, and comment with the word Vogue. So like, share and comment with Vogue. What we'll do is we'll leave drawing the prize until uh, Wednesday afternoon or Thursday morning. And then that gives everybody who's not able to watch this live a chance to get involved. So that's enough of me for the time being. I'm going to park this bit of paper underneath here. And we're going to start with Get the Look. Here is my June edition of Vogue, which inspired today's um, Sunday styling. And what I have done is I have physically deconstructed it. So I've been through the whole magazine and pulled out bits of paper where we have items in store that are influenced by what you see in Vogue in June. It wasn't the greatest month to pick, because actually it's their wedding edition. So you're going to see a lot more accessories than you will actually um, garments today. But I hope you're um, enjoying the spirit of this and I hope it goes well. Could be chaos, but hopefully it will be a fun, slightly tongue in cheek half an hour that we spend with you. So the first page that I tore out was my favourite designer ever, Chanel. And if we 
turn this over. Here we have the quilted Chanel handbag. I think she's got the large one. So that will be retailing at the moment at over £4,000. Here at Artichoke, we have our gorgeous quilted navy Italian leather handbag. You can see that it's got the straps with the leather going through the gold chain. At the moment, it's a double strap so that you can uh, just wear it over your arm or over your shoulder, but it does fall, pull out to a full strap that you can wear as a crossbody or a long strap over your shoulder. And this is retailing at 54 pounds. So when your husband moans about you spending 54 quid, you can explain to him that he's just saved you, you just saved him four grand. So that's the first little homage. The next is this beautiful dress from, who was this from? This is from Bottega. Vanessa, and this is a gorgeous knee length dress. You'll see that it's got the slightly high crew collar and a cutaway sleeve, and it is actually a shift. She's actually moving her leg out so that it doesn't look too bulky on her. You'll notice that it is accessorized with a very large. Um, 1970s style chunky necklace and then she has a very chunky bracelet and an oversized ring so in the spirit of one that I made earlier here at Artichoke we have this gorgeous pink dress from Jane's Lakeland um, it's online at £85 but that's because I haven't knocked the third off yet. I think with the third off, it's down to 56. You'll see that it has the cutaway shoulder and the high neck, and then it just falls from the bust. This can be worn as um, a knee length dress, or it can be dressed down over, sh over shorts or crops or jeans as a tunic. And in the neckline, we have placed the Dante chunky necklace in silver with a little bit of bling and this is retailing at 36.50 so you've got the complete outfit under a hundred pounds which as the uh, one in vogue costs again four thousand has saved you three thousand nine hundred today um the next one ladies are the gladiator sandals Now these just look bloody uncomfortable. Why anybody would want to wear these, God above knows. So what we've taken for the inspiration here is the fact that it's a black platform. And if I grab our little espadrille, which you have seen before, these sandals are from Valentino and they are 880 pounds. The espadrille is from Fab and is 39. So ladies, I hope you had a lovely day yesterday. I spent mine in the garden, which was fabulous. Um, and I'm off to the garden centre after this actually. So uh, we're so lucky that the sunshine has come back. Now on this particular page, we have these earrings and the white sandals. As Paddy's filming it, I'm trying to read it upside down and I can't. The sandals are, let me just have a little look. I should have underlined these before we started. Anyway, they're a lot of money, as are the earrings. So if I just rootle in my box of tricks down here, and hopefully, We'll be able to come up with these gorgeous hooped earrings here from Noor, which are £24. And these are great, they look great in the summer. As you can see, the hoop is really on trend. 
and they look fabulous in the winter too. And I'm also going to have a roof around. I have meant to bring out the flip-flop in the other colour because we've got some black snake flip-flops. But here again, we have our flip-flops from Bionics, which uh, were, oh, I have written out the prices. I just need to find my bit of paper on Isily. So the wooden hoops, um, in Vogue, they're 55, ours are 24. The flip-flops in Vogue are 725 pounds, and these are reduced to 52. Sorry, I have done my homework without realizing it. The next page we've pulled is gold jewelry. Now, we're always talking about gold jewelry being back on trend for costume jewelry, and I'm not sure that um, you always believe us. But here we have lots of bracelets worn together, cuffs, bracelets, big gold hoops, and um, more is more in this case. Just pile it up your arm. And this little lot would cost you a small fortune. But here at Artichoke, again, you can get the look, I think, for under a hundred pounds. So the tortoise shell, oh no, it's gonna be slightly over. The tortoise shell bracelet is 33 pounds. We then have it in the gray as well. The chunky Dante necklace is 31.50 and here, the little Gucci inspired necklace is free because it hasn't got a price, but I think that's about 20 pounds. So here we've got the look for 120 pounds. These are, the jewelry ladies is not online, neither are the Vionic flip flops, but the Chanel handbag and the um, espadrilles are. Um, I hope you're getting inspired, ladies. Give us a big thumbs up if you are. Um, and if it's all going badly wrong, shout at us. So the next one is this tote. So if you can see the tote down here, it's a leather tote, beautiful square shaped with the uh, straps going round. And this would be £571. I'm beginning to lose count, ladies, of how much money we've saved you so far. I think we're probably up to about 20 grand. Isn't that a wonderful excuse? Because here we have our tote. It's Italian leather. It's £51. So this is a perfect bag for now. Great summer bag. And as you can see, you've just saved yourself a small fortune. Still sticking with handbags. Here we have Giorgio Armani's slouch. It's absolutely beautiful. Can you see the lovely contrast tan here? Um, yeah, I think I might even spend a grand on that handbag. I love it. But, as I haven't got a spare grand, especially after the past three months, I'm going to make do, oops, that's just fallen down, but I don't think it's the end of the world, with an equally gorgeous handbag. And that is our grey, dark grey leather slouch, which again, Italian leather for 66 pounds. Now, We've got the drop pearl earrings. Aren't these gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous? And pearls you'll see from, from the pages that I'm tearing out, ladies, are very, very strong this season. I just need to find our drop pearls, which I absolutely adore, and I'm very tempted to take home with me rather than let everybody, anybody buy them. So the drop pearls that you can see from Vogue are £140. These 
are 30 and they are absolutely perfect. Now, we move on to the striped shirt. This is from Ralph Lauren, another one of my favorite designers. And this one is 600 pounds. But again, in the spirit of one that I made earlier, here is our oversized shirt from Grand Wee. I've rolled the sleeves up to make a really, really casual look. And as you can see, we've got the little button, so they stay there. I've undone the buttons to get that oh so sexy look. And um, the stripe is just a perfect match. Price, however, isn't. These are 59 pounds. We have them available in size 10 to 20. And the sizing is very, very true. So if you're an eight to 10, these are gonna to be too big for you. Um, and a 20 will definitely fit a 20. Gorgeous, gorgeous shirt. Will look fabulous with white jeans or over white shirt, or uh, white shorts. So that's that little one. And then we have some more dropped pearl earrings, but I've lost a bit of paper talking about them. So we might have to come back to that. And this, it's on the other side here. Somewhere we had some more, another bit of paper talking about drop pearl earrings, but I've lost it. So I'm just gonna plonk these out. These are 24.50 and they are from Dante. I hope you're, we're showing you ladies that a few old girls from Norfolk really can get it together and help you look fabulous. Now, the front cover caused a furore in a pleasant way because it featured Dame Judi Dench, who is the oldest front cover that Vogue has ever featured. And at Artichoke, um, we are more of a sort of Trini tribe in that we don't feel that you should be absolutely prescriptive about what you wear. You should wear clothes that you love and um, not worry too much about whether the colour suits you or not. Just bung some more slap on. But actually, I thought this would be quite an interesting way of completely contradicting ourselves and showing you that actually colours that don't suit you, you do need to be careful and you do need to change your makeup. So the first picture I'm going to show you is Dame Judy looking fab. So she's got the most beautiful makeup on. The thing I love is that she clearly has not been photoshopped, we hope. No, she hasn't, she's got all her wrinkles. And they're keeping her colours really, really cool which matches her skin colouring and her silver hair. She looks amazing. Flip it over and they've put her in a warmer colour. The brocade is gorgeous, but all of a sudden, can you see that the outfit is wearing her, not the other way round? Just to show you, that pleating is so on trend at the moment. She might look like her fairy godmother in this, but we have the pleating that you can see so clearly in the pink dress that we featured from James Lakeland and from the black dress that I'm wearing. The colour looks amazing on her. Whistle it over. They've kept the same makeup, but they've put her in a much darker blouse. Now, again, it just doesn't really work. If they'd actually changed her makeup or made it a bit sort of darker here, then um, I think it would have done. I hope ladies are making sense here, showing you that colour is important, even if you shouldn't be completely ruled by it. And doesn't she look fabulous? Absolutely gorgeous. She's 85, apparently she's going blind so that um, she has to learn on her scripts and can't read anymore, which is sad. That happened to my auntie Peggy. Right, 
The next bit, we're moving on to black, having mentioned colours that you should never wear, but I always do. Mighty Aphrodite. Now, in the 20s, when Liz Hurley was wearing these dresses, I might have gone along with this, but clearly, knocking on 60, the only person I would be deluding if I wore a dress like this was myself. So what I've done is I've got the look. So the dress I'm wearing is from James Lakeland. It's a black dress. It's got the pleating that is so on trend at the moment. It is the one that I've talked about that was a complete surprise to me when I tried on my normal James Lakeland size. I hated it. Now I've gone down a size and it's more fitted. I love it. It's got the Empire waistline, which is very, very flattering on me. And again, you'll see that the gold costume jewellery and the gold fixings that we're talking about coming back on trend that you can see in the lacing here, I've replicated with a gold and silver necklace. But because gold is not the best jewellery for me to wear, silver uh, suits me a lot better. The fact that it's gold and silver or alternately <clears throat> means that I can get away with wearing it. So um, this dress, the Aphrodite dress, um, I haven't written down, but it was very expensive. This dress is reduced to £66. I'm in a 14, I would normally wear a 16, um, and we have 10 through to 16. The necklace, I think, is £31, but I would have to double check that because I did do a last minute change um, and moved away from a very stylized necklace that I was going to wear. Now, the next few pages, Oh, this is another inspiration for the James Lakeland dress, showing you that this pleating is absolutely of the moment. Now, again, knocking on 60 and not being as gorgeous as this girl here, I won't be wearing that. But can I show you, ladies, pearls? and pearls with diamonds, and also the colour. Now, I'm having a complete blind moment about the name for this colour. Perhaps, Sue uh, Welfare, if you're watching as an artist, you could tell me, or um, if anybody else can remember what, it, what it's called. It's the colour that they used in medieval paintings for the sky. It's absolutely gorgeous. But because I can't remember its proper name, I'm going to call it Midnight Blue. It's a stunning colour. And can you see, ladies, here? There are floral influences. There's a Peter Pan collar. And here again, the tights and the belt are this stunning Midnight Blue, as is the uh, detailing in this dress. We move on to here. We have the midnight blue again, we have a feature in the neckline, and we have stick sleeve detailing. And here we have some diamante. And then we whistle, oh no, that's it. So what this tells me, ladies, is what I should be buying for next summer. So this is where we take our inspiration from. What it's telling me is the next summer sleeve detailing will still be really important. We can look at Peter Pan collars. Florals will still be very, very strong. But most importantly, I must look at these dark blues with the, with the contrasting beautiful pale blue color. And also everything is shiny. So we will be able to translate this into something that's a lot more wearable because the very clever brands that we work with will be picking this up and then introducing these themes into garments that are more wearable. So this is where we get our inspiration from. As you know, we will be buying for next summer in a couple of months time. Um, and ordinarily, at this time of the year, I would be having my holiday before I move into my buying season. My buying season proper normally starts in the middle of July. So from the end of June, I'm doing my budgets 
and I'm thinking about where we want the collection to move next summer. This year, God knows what I'm going to do. We've got Brexit looming, so uh, we have to think really carefully about sourcing from Europe. And also, I'm going to be six days a week on the shop floor. So this summer, we will be winging it. But fortunately, everybody else is in the same position. So our buying season has gone back six weeks to two months. So we won't be seriously looking at your buying for next year until August. So ladies, if you have anything that you would like to see at Artichoke next summer, please message me. If you think that there's something that we're missing, let us know. Um, we're always interested in your feedback of any kind. Um, if people don't tell us what we're getting wrong, we can't put it right. So have a think about what you would like to see in the shop next summer. You can comment now or you can just um, pop a little email to me later or comment in another post when you think of it. So that's my inspiration for next season. Now, let me have a little twizzle. So who's getting their bottom out this summer, ladies? <laughs> Wouldn't you love to if you had a figure like that? But clearly, I don't, so I won't. And the other question I want to ask you is, does your husband dress like this? <laughs> if he does, can I swap him? <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of uh, fantasy goes on when we're tearing out pages of Vogue as well. Um, in actual fact, his hair is beginning to look like that, although it's grey, not um, black, because of course he hasn't had a haircut for three months. And I love it. He normally has his hair almost shaved off, um, but he has the most, unlike me, he has the most gorgeous hair. It's thick and it's curly, uh, but the first thing he's going to do once lockdown is over, he's going to get a haircut. In fact, I met a girlfriend for um, a cup of tea in her garden uh, earlier this week, and I haven't seen her for ages. And we were cackling away because I think we have the only two husbands on the planet that lockdown has interfered in their lives, not a jot. Um, actually, that's not quite true because Matthew couldn't fish for a few weeks, but he's worked all the way through it like Rob, um, and uh, now he's fishing again, that's what he does anyway. They don't shop, they don't go out. So they're as happy as Larry. They can stay in lockdown forever as long as they can both get a haircut. But I've digressed again. So we're going to move on now to flowers and animal print. So, I'm going to move these up so that Paddy can actually show you these two pages because these are important. Florals and animal print. So this again is showing you what all the designers have on the catwalk at the moment. And it shows that Florals and animal print are the new neutrals. And again, in the spirit of one that I made earlier, the best item that we have to show that this season is this dress from um, K Design. I forgot to post the inspirations on the garments as I was doing it. So this is a strong, strong colour, has a gorgeous tropical design, and it ticks the box. To stay on trend whilst feeling comfortable, we'll just pop the shirt next to here, so you can see where we got our inspiration from, and then we go back to the beginning, And show you where we got the look. So finally, ladies, we come back to again skin being the new neutral. So this is a gorgeous photo. 
In this, however, I'm focusing on the sandals, which here are a leopard skin. But we are en homage with this season. These are actually in the sale. Uh, Bionics in um, Python. These were £120, but they are now down to 80 Donna has a pair, she says they're the most comfortable sandals she's ever had. I don't have a pair because they're just marginally too small for me. So the support is in slightly the wrong place. But they are fabulous and they are reduced from £120 down to 80 So ladies, I hope this hasn't been too mad for you. I now need to rootle around and find the bit of paper that I had. Uh, to remind me what I was going to say before I sign off, but I think that could be a task too far. Oh, Paddy's just said it's here. So, sorry about this. Lots of notes today because there are important things to say. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today. If you have, let us know. And actually, we could do a little feature every season. Um, and probably do it slightly earlier. If I thought about it, I could have done this um, almost a month ago when June's uh, Vogue first came out. Um, I certainly enjoyed doing it and I hope that I've managed to translate my ideas into reality. As we said, uh, when we first started this Sunday styling, uh, our doors open in Swaffham tomorrow. Can I please thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support that you've given me personally. I have had so many fabulous emails. I've had cards sent to me. Um, everybody has just been lovely in the way that they've supported us during the past three months. Um, can I please ask you not to stop. The next three months for independent shops on the high street is absolutely crucial. Um, for those of you who've not bought so far online, even if you feel you can't venture out to the high street, please buy from your local independent shops because if you don't, we won't be here. Many, like myself, our landlords are not giving us a break on the rent, so we're having to pay the full rent despite the fact that we've been closed and despite the fact that when we all come back, we will not be able to sell as much as we usually do because of the restrictions that we're all going to have. This is particularly pertinent, again, to restaurants and bars. So if you can think of a way of supporting your local restaurants and bars. If you've lived on Starbucks all your life, please don't go back to that. You know, we have Costa here in Swaffham, but we also have the most glorious independent cafes. So please, please, please shop independent. So that's the end of my lecture, I hope. Let's read to make sure. Um, yes, that is the end of my lecture. On Thursday, we've got another Dress Me episode. Now, Tina is a lovely customer. She's actually Donna's customer, not mine. Um, but during the lockdown period, I've got to know her quite well. And she's one of the lovely ladies who has been supporting us online. So thank you, Tina. You have fed Patrick well enough that he's still strong enough to be filming today. We're going to do Tina's Dress Me on Thursday and um, she's a tall lady. She has, I think, 33 inch legs. So she uh, must be about 5'10 or 5'11. She um, comes on holiday to Norfolk. So what she asked me to do was to put together a wardrobe for a tall bird that holidays in Norfolk. So Tina, I'm going to do that. But as today is all about influencing or copying, I'm also going to take note of what Trini did this weekend. And I can't remember the precise numbers because I haven't actually seen it yet. But basically, I think she's taken five outfits 
and created 17 looks. So however many outfits she's taken, if I can do it too, so however many garments she's taken, if I can do it too from this season's collection, Tina, I will, and I'll put together as many looks as I can for your holiday in Norfolk from that. So, see you on Thursday, ladies, at five o'clock. Um, thank you again for tuning in today. Have a fabulous Sunday afternoon. I'm off to uh, the garden centre in Thetford and I have everything crossed that they have still got lavender. Last summer, I um, dug out our little sort of, it's like a, it's a box height, but it's a lavender hedge on the edge of our patio. It creates a little border between the terrace and the chaos that is beyond it. I planted a lovely lavender hedge. What the dog hasn't uh, killed running through, my husband sprayed off in the spring, so now it's very dead. So hopefully they've got lavender so I can replant my lavender. And I want a big pot. And do you know what I completely, oh, I need to pot on my curry plant. So whatever happened to sex, drugs and rock and roll, ladies, all I think about now is my garden. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Have a fabulous time in yours. Come and see us in the shop this week. Remember, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we're doing by appointments. So as there aren't any cafes open at the moment, don't just rock up. If you want to come on a Tuesday and Wednesday, you need to make an appointment just in case we're doing a closed shopping session when you want to come. But it's open door Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Tuesdays and Wednesdays if we haven't got a closed door session going on. Once again, ladies, thank you for all your support and uh, fingers crossed everything will go well for us all tomorrow and um, I mean that to all my gorgeous, gorgeous friends who have boutiques throughout the country. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week as well. Thank you very much indeed, ladies.